Maya. I am the jewelry designer for Eliva Jewelry. I started jewelry design about 10 years ago. Most of my life I've been in California, but recently I moved back to Japan for family reasons. And now I have a store in Harajuku. One of my first pieces that I designed was the bear ring, which is a bear that hugs your finger. And my inspiration for this ring was my sister's teddy bear. And I wanted to create something that even as an adult, she could keep. This bear ring was my first piece. So I take bits and pieces from the world that he lives in and make full moon necklace or a star necklace or a sun ring. The Lumiere collection is a collection where I use a magnifying glass into a necklace. So it's a functional necklace as well as something fashionable. It has a very um, unique way of shining. So it's one of my new favorite collections. When I make a collection, I get inspired by childhood memories or um, any surroundings. One of the collection I have is called Ao which means blue in Japanese. Most of the motifs are clouds. I also have a collection of pinky rings and one of my favorite one is the knotted one. People could use it as a reminder of them or a promise. One of the things that I love making is wedding bands for couples. This band has unfinished edges for couples who are just starting their journey together. I also like to experiment with different finishes on metal. I have some designs that are bold, but I make it into a matte finish and that makes it a more subtle look. I usually start with a sketch. Sometimes I don't need a sketch and I just start dripping the wax, but what I need to do in order to make the 3D shape is I heat a tool and I melt the wax, make the shape drop by drop. The finished piece in that wax form is the exact shape that I get in metal. I learned jewelry making um, when I met my mentor Stephen Hanna in LA. He also allowed me to work as an apprentice and help him with his line and his jewelry making as well. Also in my store, I showcase other jewelry designers. Some are from the United States and some are from Japan and they are all handmade. One of the new things that I started once I started this store was to create a membership for everyone. And instead of making a card, we decided to make a little charm that people could either attach to their keychain or make a necklace out of. And each one has individual numbers and I have created four different signs. So our location here is fairly recent. We have a store in the front and we have a studio in the back. And I could talk to the customers and do some custom work or change lengths of chain on the spot. I'm at a very happy place. Um, I love to see something that's not there and making it into a tangible piece. We have a variety of jewelry for both women and men, so hopefully you can find something that you like.